Once system hazards have been identified, a safety goal is created to identify what safe means with respect to that hazard. For example, in a vehicle speed control application, one of the hazards identified might be unintended vehicle acceleration. The goal to mitigate that hazard might be to ensure that the engine power is proportional to the accelerator pedal position, with a released pedal producing minimal power and a fully depressed pedal producing maximum power. Related to the safety goal is a safety strategy, which is how you plan to achieve that safety goal. For this example, you might decide to have a two-prong approach. First, you would want to make sure that the calculation of pedal position to power output is performed correctly. But, because this is a high sill situation that could result in death, you would probably also want a failsafe that would guarantee engine shutdown if unintended acceleration were caused by either a hardware or software fault in the primary engine power computation. Once safety goals have been created, safety requirements are used to fill in the details. Generally, the safety goals relate to the system as a whole, and safety requirements are more broken down so that they can be allocated to particular subsystems or components. Safety requirements can include both functionality and specific failsafe mitigation requirements. Continuing the vehicle speed example, a normal functionality requirement would be to ensure that the engine torque is properly computed based on the position of the accelerator pedal. But a second safety requirement could be that any pedal to torque computation mismatch that might be caused by a system failure would result in an engine shutdown via some independent functional safety shutdown mechanism.